Oh, yeah, it was Derek here. What? Coach Eric here. We're back. You may recognize these old friends. These old famous people here. We're about to do battle. And there's the squad over there. It feels good. <laughs> I, I I have a little uh, a little electricity in in my under my tongue. And it's just patient of seeing us get rolling here. All right, hey, shh, let's start. Justin, zip it. Listen, I want everybody to flow as well as you possibly can. Grace, I want you to, have you talked to him over there? What's, his name? What's your name again? Your name? No. What's, the, yeah. Oh, All right, cool. Peter, so, uh, Make sure you flow and Grace, keep an eye on, make sure you know, you, you answer any questions he has about how to flow and stuff. Other new people as well, you put next to somebody who knows how to flow, so if you don't write down what happens in the round, you're guaranteed to lose because you don't know what to say. Unless you have a 100% world's greatest memory in history. If you have identity memory, that doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know. My memory's not so good. What do you want, Justin? Are you us? Yes, I am. Okay. I am recording you for posterity's sake, so that you will also get to know the true glory of being on Talking with Famous People. All right, let's start. Go. Okay. Oh, wait. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Uh, All right. Time. Okay. 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 I'll start. Time. Mm -hmm. All right, start time now. My name is Zane, this is my partner, Brandon, and we are going to affirm this resolution. So, for our framework for this round is whichever side is best for the country. Observation one, schools must strike a balance between the student's right to privacy and the need to maintain school safety, which are the two biggest impacts in this round. Contention one, probable cause upholds the bodily integrity right of a human and prevents completely ridiculous student searches that violate that right. Sub point A, Hill 2015, the proposition that children have the rights against unwanted bodily intrusions imposed on, upon them by the state is relatively uncontroversial. The Supreme Court acknowledged minors' liberty, interests, and personal security, and dealt with allegations that corporal punishments administered by school officials pursuant by the Florida law were so severe and painful, including causing a hematoma to, in one student and depriving another student of the full use of his arm for a week. The court also recognized that the right to freedom from unreasonable bodily restraint was a fundamental liberty interest protected by the 4th, 14th Amendment. Children's bodily integrity rights right, is violated when children are mistreated by a state actor, usually when the context of a school, usually in the context of a school. Thus, though the scope of the right is unclear, there is little doubt that minors do possess a constitutional right to bodily protection against unwanted bodily intrusions that are imposed or mandated, mandated by state actors. So point B, school searches and suspensions that are completely ridiculous have violated this bodily integrity right. Haynes 2001A and Torres 2016A. In incidents clearly shows that school administrators have poor judgment in searches and that we can never assume good judgment from the people who search students. Overreaction to violence that ushered in a zero tolerance